Oh, this is great. Wow, were you expected? Uh, yeah, 100%. I said it would finish him in the first round, and I did. I envisioned that moment since I was 15 years old. I feel that I could have done that when I was 15, so I've seen this about 10 million times in my head. How hard did he hit you the, 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 second, the second punch? I mean, you felt that, I'm guessing, but yeah, hard uh, <laughs> Yeah, exactly. I did not feel it. But, you know, it was good to kind of show everybody that I'm not going to shy away from it. I'm here to fight. A lot of jiu-jitsu guys would have crumbled under those shots. They would have looked for a way out, and they would have ran. So I came. I, I kept going forward. I faced my adversity, and I got him to the ground and finished him. Did you have an ideal scenario in your head when you came into this fight, such as, I would love to knock, to knock this guy out and not have to finish him on the ground just to show people, hey, man, guess what? Yeah. There's, a, there's a second dimension here. I came in here free. Like Bruce Lee says, no way is way. You know, I just came in and said, I'm going to be free in there, and I'm not going to put anything in my head. So... I got one in there, and I was just feeling everything, and I just went with the moment. You know, I, I believe that jujitsu is the, you know, it's still just like back in the day. It could, it'll, it's the best martial art in the world. So I, I was very confident. How would you surprise you out there? Uh, no, actually, I felt great. I was, I was, I felt like I was at home. I, I wasn't even nervous. I, I said this before: when you're this good, you don't feel pressure. How was your great performance? I would say, I don't know. I, I, I'm happy with my performance, though. You know, it was my first fight. A lot of people get to do, you know, warm-up fights and stuff like that, you know, and I came out. I took this whole card on my back. I did all the media. This fight is the second biggest fight in Beltor history. So how many people are making their debut like that, taking all the media, doing all this stuff, talking the big game? Nobody. Everybody else would have lost. So I feel like a Can good performance. Can you a number on how many shades you've got? How many have you got? One for every day of the week. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I don't you know. heard from Connor afterwards. Yeah, I did. You know, he was very happy with my performance and very happy for me. You called out Ben Askren yeah. in a post-fight interview. Why Ben Askren? I believe I'm the one to derail his undefeated streak. You know, he would not be able to handle me on the ground, and he has no striking, so it would end up in the ground, and I feel like I would submit him easy. But how would Bellator get him back? Speak to us that as co-owner now. How would they bring him back? Well, you know, I just tell Scott Coker that let's just bless him with a one-day contract or something like that, so I just, I don't know. If I say he, him, uh, if I say get him, we'll get him. Did you read Ben's response? Yeah. No, what did he say? He said, uh, how about you fight somebody with a winning record first? That's fine, but then, where is he at? You know, that's just looking for an excuse, you know. He knows he has no leg dot defense. He knows that he's scared of the ground game, so he knows what the real shit is. There's a reason that he responded. He wanted to respond to many. He might be responding now. Your phone's blowing up. Yeah, I know. My battery's going to die, too. <laughs> Anything else? I don't know. That was a that was a crazy high. So we'll see. I want to do this again. A lot of the guys at SPG, you guys have a similar striking style. Yeah. notice you kind of had a similar style too. Did you learn that there, or did you kind of go on with the prefabricated idea? Actually, just kind of like just started training, and that was like. That was my stance. It's weird, actually. Uh, I watch a lot of, you know, Bruce Lee and, and karate stances and just kind of form, especially because I have a little bit of a wide stance in jiu-jitsu. It just became easy for me. You know, I was laying on my feet, you know, and then once I started getting my strikes going, I felt a little bit more comfortable. You know, I got out there, I got a little slow, but once I started getting it in there, I felt like Bruce Lee, so. Ah, that's a stupid question. I don't know. <laughs> On a night full of submissions like we had tonight, who would you give the bonus to? Would it be you or would it be somebody else? It would be me, 100%. I mean, who else came in here with what I came in here? All the shit that I did, all the stuff. I mean, I made this card, basically. All these guys are just submitting. Guys, but just, you know, they don't have the same kind of stuff that I had to deal with. So I made this card, so you would have to give it to me. Well, no, I, I, I believe this since the beginning that, you know, you could pull guard and a, in MMA, and a lot of people are like, no, you can't do that. That's ridiculous. And I said, no. You know, like, I believe that my guard is good enough to submit anybody in the world. So I just need to get the person to the ground, and it's over. When it also comes back here next year, you might try to get on that carpet. Yeah, I, I like Chicago. It's kind of like New York. So, yeah, I really like the fans. Everybody was really cool when I came out. It was awesome. And it's a great city. You know, you guys got deep dish pizza. I love pizza. So, yeah, I, I like Chicago a lot. What happens tonight? I'm going to go out and get drunk or something and I need some alcohol but I'm gonna go out yeah and just enjoy the moment you know there was a, a lot went into this so a lot of people don't see how much goes into this and I want to enjoy tonight. Did it mean anything that Boyce Gracie watched 
Yeah, that's cool, man. It is cool. Hoist Grayson is a legend, and I feel like that was like a Gracie in action or something. You know, like I always envisioned that since I was a kid watching those. So that was basically like a Gracie in action. You know, I come from a jiu-jitsu background, so it is very cool. Hoist Gracie is a legend, and uh, you know, he had a lot of kind words for me too. It, it's it's really cool. He said that, you know, you kept your composure. You know, he said a lot of people say jiu-jitsu doesn't work nowadays, and, and it does. And he was saying that he was very proud of the way I kept my composure and, you know, even with the shots and I got it to the ground and stuff like that, you know.